Gene expression is, in science, is how a gene functions. When you activate a gene, it will make a protein. Gene expression is related to whether that particular gene is activated or inactivated, if you will, to make less protein. The human genome is the book of life. And we have finally been able to understand what is written in this book of life. And these breakthroughs are powering us towards a once impossible goal, identifying the sources of aging. Meet Dr. Joseph Chang. As a chief scientist of a privately funded lab, so... he's dedicated his life to nutritional intervention for the war on aging. Really, anti-aging herb. Dr. Zhu's Cordyceps sinensis research is added to other blended ingredients to create Dr. Chang's anti-aging compound. This is the first time ever where some of these natural ingredients, by using modern scientific methods, to demonstrate that it can actually extend lifespan. Dr. Richard Weindruck and Dr. Thomas Prola are using advances in gene expression profiling to discover how nutrients affect aging at a genetic level. There is not a lot of difference from the control. I would be surprised if there is much of an aging. With millions of genetic data points, a solution to accessing all this information is found in a single powerful database that employs cutting-edge gene chip technology, a powerful new tool in gene expression profiling. Each chip contains all 20,000 plus genes in the mouse genome. This database allows scientists to interpret their findings on a global scale. The gene chip technology is basically a way to monitor the expression of thousands of genes at once. This was the first study to use gene chips to study aging. Uh, this new technology provided a global view of gene expression activity. I think without the existence or the development of gene chip technology, we will not have tools to even begin to understand what all the genes do inside our body. What we're trying to do at LifeGen is to identify nutrients that have this ability of caloric restriction to change the activity of genes in a way that will slow down the aging process. So individual nutrients may have, on their own, mild effects, but when combined, we hope to find mixtures of nutrients that are going to have a much stronger effect.